What began as a small dispute over the sale of a used vehicle has led to multiple calls to the police and the NAACP to call for a boycott of a local business. The two parties involved, the owner of Automart, Bradley Facencia, and the man who bought the vehicle, Joseph. Joseph told us that immediately after purchasing the vehicle on September 10th, he started to see issues. Um, during that process, I drove it home. It was kind of driving funny. You know, I, I was like, hmm. But, you know, I know mechanics, so I was like, well, you know, if it's nothing major. But when he brought these issues up to the owner yesterday, Mr. Facencia responded by showing off his weapon and calling the police. He proceeded to reach in his desk, reach out, uh, pulled out a 22 25 caliber handgun to let me know that he had a weapon on him. And then he proceeded to put it in his pocket. At that point, me and my son was in there and I had to make a good decision because we were kind of terrified and shook, you know what I'm saying, that he pulled out a gun. Shortly thereafter, the president of the local Minneapolis chapter of the NAACP arrived and attempted to de-escalate the situation. And it was after Brad left the meeting and called the police again that the decision to boycott was made. Now, the owner of Automart vigorously refused these claims. While he declined the opportunity to be video or audio recorded, he did invite us in for an exclusive interview. He told us that Joseph had already test driven the car before he agreed to purchase it. He also provided us with these documents while explaining the issue was now for the courts to decide. Now, when it comes to pulling a gun and calling the police, he strongly refused that and says he's usually armed and that Joseph had indicated that he Automart may be burned down similar to how other buildings had been set ablaze during the protests and riots that occurred in early May. He said it was these threats that made him call the police. Now, Joseph, for his part, told us that both he and his son approached Mr. Facencia in a calm and respectful manner as men. Joseph told us he's a hardworking father who doesn't have the time or resources for a long legal battle and he wants Mr. Facencia to either pay for the vehicle or pay for the repairs of the vehicle. Mr. Facencia told us he's a local businessman and he's ready to go to court over this. With both parties seemingly arrived at an impasse, it seems likely that this protest won't end anytime soon. Stay tuned to The Neighborhood Reporter for more.